Hey, what is up, guys? BM Games here, and welcome back to another video. And today, we're gonna be playing some more Murder House. So, last part, we played the prologue on here, which is right here. Where we're playing is that little kid sitting on the rabbit on the bunny's lap. And this dude was coming after us in this mall, and we ended up getting help from this janitor who was voiced by Jack Seth the Cobb, but I'm pretty sure he died, and then he came in to the break room where we were hiding and he came and killed us too. But uh yeah, we're gonna be playing the second part today. I don't know if we're gonna finish the whole game today. I don't know, but anyway, let's get into this guys. Okay, so the loading stopped, so present day nineteen eighty eight. So it looks like this is like a we're on a front porch or oh, okay, it was just the camera. What is that? A van? Okay, it looks like we're a news crew. Or this is a news crew. Like we're here. Ew, this place? I can't believe I went from the news desk to this. You're lucky you have this after the incident with the poodle. That could have happened to anyone. All right, let's get started. We don't have all day. Gary sounds like a mafia boss, for real. Where the hell is the real estate agent? Who? I gave him 50 bucks to let us shoot this story. There's his car. Where the hell is he? Hey, Inter, what's your name again? Emma. Yeah, Emma. Make yourself useful and find us a way in. Okay, I, I'm going to be honest. I really do not like Gary so far. He seems like a douche. This is literally the worst day to start this internship. I pulled a 10 in at track practice, and I don't think I can run for very long. Once my stamina drains, I'll have to take a break and walk it off before I can run again. Oh, well, that's great. So we have like a stamina limit? Yep. Okay, so find a way in. Check the front door first. I bet it's going to be locked though, so it's worth a shot though. Yeah, it's locked. Is there another way in? Probably. I'm decided I'm not going to play with the VHS filter because... Uh, hold on, actually. I'm going to turn on the... P no, not the... I'm gonna do the PSX. I like that a little better. And just, what about the projector? It gives it, it gives it like a grainy quality a little bit. Ah, but I don't want to hear projector the whole time. Yeah, never mind. I would play it in first person, but I kind of like the uh, vibe of playing in third person. Okay, so I like a door back here we can go through. Is there something shiny in there? <clears throat> what is that? It looks like a shot. Is that a shotgun? Yeah, it looks like a gun. I can't reach it from here. Hopefully we can get in there, dude, because, like, you know, who knows? I have a feeling we'll be running into the Easter Bunny because he's on the cover of the game. What is that like? A is that like a crawl space? Can we like go through? It? Okay, I guess that's the entrance. I can't believe I'm breaking into a house. It sure is creepy in here. Uh, oh yeah. Oh. I think we might play it in first person, to be honest. Can we go up here? Okay. Let's go through this door. I can't open it. The doorknob is missing. Well, okay. Well, there's two doors. I don't know. I'm gonna go through this one. Maybe this is like. I doubt this is the front door. There's the front door, I think. Good 
work. You got in. Did you see that goddamn real estate agent? No. The house is empty. That bastard. I should have given you the 50 bucks. Ew. It's musty. Chop, chop. You look musty. Grab all the equipment in the van and get it in there. We're gonna set up. Yeah, I think, well, actually, on second thought, I think I might play in first person. I kind of like it a little better. Controls are a little bit more fluid, I think. So, if that's the case, I might turn up this, not the, where's the, can we change, yeah, sensitivity. Might, how's eight feel? Might turn it down a little bit, yeah. Input, put it to eight. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. Okay, let's take this new stuff into the house. Hope this hard work pays off. Yeah, Gary, you should be doing it, right? Look at you. Smoking a cigarette. Bum. You get lung cancer. Nah, seriously, though. Cigarettes and, like, vapes are so freaking disgusting. Like, I don't know why you would want to smoke those. I don't know why you'd want to smoke in the first place. Like, it's so bad for you. It really is. And plus, they're like really addictive, too, so, like, I don't see the point in it. <coughs> Finished. Never want to want to do this again. I don't blame you. Because you tore what, like, a tendon or whatever? The lights are set up, but there's no power in this house. Dang it. Yeah, I'm not gonna say the D word. You know? Still gotta get monetized in this sucker, bro. Once I have enough to get monetized. What are you waiting around for? Turn on those lights and let's get rolling. The power's out. We'll turn it back on. I don't know how. Figure something out. You seem like a douche for real, like, for no reason either. Okay. It's locked. What's in here? What does this say? I think it says Cinco de Mayo. You know, one of the best holidays. Can we pick this up? Is this like a pencil? It's like a pencil. Like, how do you. Can you not pick items up, like in first person? I don't know. I don't think there's anything in there except for a pencil. I don't know what we're going to need a pencil for. Uh, maybe we can, like, stab somebody with it if we need to. Can we go in here? What is this? It's kind of dark to see. Okay, we can go in here. That's good. It's in here. Can we go through here? That door's locked. Of course it is. Uh, is there anything useful in here? I just said I search. I mean, sure. Of course we got to individually search every single one. I guess it's locked. Obviously. I bet there's going to be, like, nothing else inside all these other ones. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything else besides, like, that top one. Yeah. Let me search this one. Nothing in there. Nothing in this one. Well, 
there's definitely something in there. I don't know what that is, though. And of course, that one's locked, too. Well, again, nothing. You know, maybe we can open up like this wardrobe thing. Oh, it's a cabinet. Well, uh, nothing useful in here yet. Wait. Is there like something in here? Nope. Okay, well, let's just get out of here then. I didn't explore downstairs. Maybe there's like a breaker box down there or something. What is this? It's locked. Seems like a flimsy lock, but I can't get in without a key. Okay. Well, we'll be getting keys for things eventually, I hope. Does it really want to explore? What is this? Hey, it's Jerry, the real estate agent. Looks like someone broke the lock on the basement window and got in the house since the last time I was over here. They stole the goddamn fuse. So... Oh, the power is up. Don't worry. I know there's another fuse around here somewhere. I left the front door open in case I don't hear you guys drive up. Just shout for me when you get inside. Well, I think our boy Jerry got killed because the uh, front door was definitely uh, not unlocked. What is that? A sponge? Yeah, just a sink. Can we go out here? What is this? I think this is like the back. Is this like a back door? Where's this lead? Uh, it just leads to the yeah, backyard. I should have guessed that. Uh, let's look for this breaker box. If the, uh, like Jerry said, there's a breaker box. Did he say where? Basement. Uh, basement window. Well, I can check down here anyway. Yeah, can we open it? An average fuse box. Wait, I think a fuse is missing. Yeah, okay. Can we go? Nope. I don't think I want to look inside. Okay. Well, let's look for this fuse then. Don't know where it could be. Is it in? Is is it in here? Of course, there's. Of course, it's locked. Why wouldn't it be? I don't think there's anything downstairs. Dude, it is like really dark in here. I cannot see anything. Okay. Does not look like there's anything useful down here. Let me search in here. Kitchen drawers. I guess we can search them. Empty. Empty. Oh, has a bunch of junk in it. Why do we have pencils? Like, I don't think we can even use them, can we? That one's locked. Nothing in this one. And, yeah, nothing in this one. Shocker. Okay, well. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. Where could this fuse be? An old dusty mug. Okay. Well, can we, like... No, that's not what I was trying to do. Let's see. And if we could, like, reach up into the cabinets or something. Is there anything in these? Empty. Also empty. Also empty. Well, nothing in those. Now, did we explore all of upstairs? Actually, we didn't really explore downstairs, to be honest. Maybe there's something in here. Wait, hold on, is there something behind Fatty McGee over here? A hole in the floor. I see something shiny at the bottom, but I can't reach it. Okay, never mind. Go in here. Nope. Okay. Maybe there's some like other rooms in here that we didn't explore. It 
It's locked. Looks like solid iron. Now I can open this without a key. Oh, oh let's go. And basically, I'm just gonna double check like every room we've already searched, I guess. Just, there might be something in here. Pretty sure I already checked these, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's the fuse. Okay, I guess we did not check these. Well, let's go downstairs and put the fuse in. Okay. Got the power. What the frick? Uh, okay. Random ghost, I guess. Oh, come on, bro. I'm not doing this already. Come on. I bet we're about to get like jump scare in the basement or something. Oh, look at that door texture. Huh. Let's go downstairs. Oh wait, yeah. Okay. Something inside the jar. Okay, door's jammed shut. Well, let's just go back upstairs. I don't know what I want to do. I'm kind of conflicted on what camera I want to play. It's easier to navigate with, like, first person, but I also kind of want to play in third person. More suspenseful. Hey, the power's back on. Let's get started. Okay. All right, good. Everything's set, Tom? Yep. Lighting's ready. The camera's rolling. Hey, Gary. I was thinking... <coughs> Man. I don't pay you to think, Dana. I pay you to read the goddamn script. Shut up, Gary. I hate this job. Yeah, I hate it too, Dana. Well, pull it together. Ready, everyone? All right. Action. Anthony Smith, more commonly known as the Easter Ripper. The mere mention of his name sends shivers up the spines of parents across the country, his horrible murder spree leaving lives shattered and families ripped apart. Did I just hear like a car a vacant home in the back where 11 innocent children spent their final moments in agonizing pain and terror. Untouched since those horrible crimes eight years ago, some say his spirit still haunts the home till this day. I'm Dana Turner, and this is a News 9 special report. Silenced tears inside the home of serial killer Anthony Smith. Cut. Let's take a break. Gary, I think I want to redo the line where... This isn't 60 minutes, Dana. It's channel fucking 9. We're not here to win a Pulitzer. Fine. I'm going to find a place in this gross house to fix my makeup. Well, uh, okay. I guess this Easter Bunny guy is called the Easter Ripper, whose name is Anthony Smith. I guess we, I guess we'll go in here. I don't know. Maybe we can go explore the basement or something. Oh, there's a Gary. Great. What's up, Gary? This is a great opportunity for you. Put in a little extra effort, and you can really get ahead. If you know what I mean. Oh okay, my uh, god, bro. Works. Where the hell is Dana? I don't want to wait around all day. Shut up, bro. He is a creep. I think I know what he meant by, like, you know... What he said. Frickin' creep. Let's explore the basement. What the? Uh, is this Dana? Hey, sweetie. I'm so thirsty from all that talking. Can you fetch me a glass of water? Sure. Okay. Uh, I know there's like a mug in the kitchen 
so we can go use that and use the sink, I guess. Okay. Let's get this glass of water. Dude, I love the pickup sound in this game. It's like so satisfying. I filled it with water. Yeah, I know. Okay. this way. Come on, dude. Oh my lord. No. Let's go in here. Give Dana her glass of water. Here you go. Thank you. Wait, did you wash this? Nope. Yes. Yeah, Emma, you definitely washed oh, it. I just remembered. I found this key lying around. Ooh. See if you can find a real story in this house. Something that nobody has reported on. And maybe we can get hired on a real network. Hey, what are you goofing around for? Set those lights up and let's get rolling. We're putting people to sleep here with this boring story. Time to sex this up. Hey, you. What? Me? Yeah, you. Put this sheet on. Uh, Harry, so you what like... the fuck are you doing? No one's gonna want to watch this boring thing. And your dry reporting isn't healthy. I'm reading the teleprompter. People want to see ghosts. Okay, intern. When Danish says he still haunts the home he grew up in, I want you to run through the background. Got it? All right, let's do this. Bruh, that's so stupid. After dinner, yeah, okay. Action! The rampage started in late March 1979, when Smith walked into a local mall and took a seasonal position as an Easter Bunny. A job meant to spread joy and cheer put him in the perfect position to abduct young children until his capture and execution in 1985. Many of the bodies have not been recovered. As told by the sole survivor, Randy Martinez, Smith would release the children in his greenhouse and force them to go on a deadly Easter egg hunt while he stalked and murdered them. Two years later, many say he still haunts the home he grew up in. Go through the door, Dana. Two years oh, not later. Dana, Emma. What was that? Tom, did you get that? I apologize to the viewers at home, but I just felt an energy pass by behind me. Let's continue deeper into the house and see what secrets we uncover. This is Ratings Gold. Let's take a break and pick up in the bedroom. Great timing. I'm going to go use the restroom. Hey you, I'm getting hungry. Take the van and go pick us up some pizzas. Use the station credit card. Okay, um, I want to see what this key does first. No, not in this room. I'm just gonna play in first person, dude. That's so much easier to navigate. Can we, like, use the key for this? Nope. Okay. Maybe we can use it for, like, the... one of the doors upstairs. Try on the uh I'm pretty sure there's like a yeah, there's like a door over here. Yeah, what the frick dude? There's gotta be somebody in this house. Okay, it's unlocked. Just love the key. Nope. Let's open up this door. Where does this lead? What up? I feel safe in this room, like nothing bad can happen here. An empty journal, maybe I can use my... I'll use it to write down my progress. It's like a save room, I guess. What is this? 
flashlight. Once equipped, no, once equipped it. And don't flash, okay. Let me pick up this pencil. Okay, I guess we can use the pencils to write down our progress. Like save, save the game. Yeah. Let's save it. Is this like my other save? I think it is. I didn't even know it saved the game for me. Okay, return. I think this is like a good time to, you know, stop the, you know, in the video. So, you know, this is the first, oh, this is the second part of Murder House, guys. So if you did enjoy this second part, be sure to uh, leave a like. And if you are new, be sure to subscribe and put a post notification bell. And, uh, yeah, guys, this, uh, this is it for today. And I hope you did enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you all later, guys. Peace.